Hey everyone, I'm Anna Hethmaker with Hethmaker Violins, and this is another video in our Students Stuck at Home series. So whether you're having a snow day or whether you're smack dab in the middle of two weeks of digital learning, these are little videos to help the orchestra kids learn something. We want you to go back to school with a little bit more knowledge. Today we're going to talk about something really, really, really cool. Do you know what this is? This, my friends, is ebony. This is actually an ebony log, and I wish you could reach through the video camera and feel it. It is so heavy. Ebony is an amazingly dense wood. So if I took a piece of ebony and threw it into some water, a lake, a stream, a bathtub, it would sink to the bottom. It's really, really strong. It's really, really dense. And as you can see from this, it is actually this color, this dark black color. It naturally grows that way. So we have ebony on our string instruments. We have it on our bows. We use it for a lot of things. And why is ebony perfect for our uses? It's perfect because, remember I talked about how dense and strong it is? With ebony, we can touch it, we can play on it for decades, and it won't really wear down very quickly if it's good ebony. So a violin can be 200 years old and have the same original fingerboard because that ebony wood is just so strong. So, I just mentioned fingerboards. On your instrument, violin, viola, cello, or bass, your fingerboard is actually made of ebony. You have other things on your instrument that are made of ebony. What do you think those could be? Um, let's see, a lot of your pegs are made of ebony. Sometimes your tailpiece will be made of ebony. I'm missing one right here. Sometimes your chin rests will be made of ebony in your end button. And of course, on a violin bow, the frog is made of ebony where we hold it with our hands. Now, ebony is actually an endangered wood, so we're seeing more and more alternative sources. We're seeing more and more exotic woods being used. But for right now, ebony is still king when it comes to these woods and their uses on bowed string instruments. The ebony that we use comes from two places. It comes from Africa and it comes from India. Now, how can you tell the difference? It's really interesting because, basically speaking, African ebony is black, black, black. You usually won't see a lot of streaks in it. And, um, and my lovely assistant Jonathan is going to come <laughs> close so you can see this. This fingerboard is African ebony. You can see how dark it is. But Indian ebony has these beautiful brown streaks in it that's naturally occurring. And, um, and it's, just part, it's just part of the wood. It's not dyed, it's not painted. Um, they're both lovely examples of ebony, but you can actually go and get out your instrument and look at it and maybe you'll be able to tell if your ebony is African or Indian. Uh, I told you we use it on frogs. A lot of times bow restorers will actually use powdered ebony and this is kind of like your little interesting tidbit of the day. Powdered ebony, it's not good for us. A lot of these exotic woods we use are carcinogenic. They're toxic to the system. So whenever you meet a bow maker and you know they're working with powdered ebony, they'll be using protective masks and things like that. Violin makers too. Um, my friend Jonathan, who's behind the camera, he does a lot of bass fingerboards and he creates a great amount of ebony sawdust. There's like black dust everywhere. It's not healthy for us. So if you ever, ever have a chance to use any ebony sawdust, Protect yourself. That's your little interesting tidbit for the day. Now your extra credit today is, I want you to go get your instrument out and I want you to look at it. I want you to see if you can tell if your ebony is Indian or African. And um, I want you to look at your pegs and your chin rest. Maybe your chin rest is plastic. Maybe it's not ebony. Maybe if your pegs and tailpiece, if they're brown, like a golden brown, they may be another whole different wood. And we'll talk about those woods in another lesson. Um, your extra, extra credit, because this is really cool, and if Jonathan will come and show you. A lot of bow makers take that ebony on the frog and they decorate it and they do all kind of special things with it. So for your extra, extra credit, I want you to go and Google fancy frogs, fancy violin frogs, because if you do the other one, you actually do get like the amphibians. So, but you're gonna see all kind of neat things. They inlay them with silver and pearl and all kind of neat stuff. So I hope that has helped. I want you to remember, go thank your teachers, your orchestra directors. They're working really, really hard to provide some education for you while you're stuck at home. 
I'm Anna Hethmaker from Hethmaker Violins, and if you ever have any questions about Ebony, give me a call. Thank you so much.